Unlike most of you, I actually remember the Puss in Boots movie. It was... alright. Nothing too groundbreaking, nothing amazing, but hey, it was entertaining at least. So when the sequel was announced, I was a bit skeptical, because DreamWorks, they have been doing good recently, like with movies like The Bad Guys, but... Eh, I didn't feel like a Puss in Boots sequel was going to be good. And then it started trending on Twitter and YouTube, and Instagram, and then I had to see what the deal with Puts and Boots was. I heard so many good things about the movie. The villains, the characters, the themes, how it doesn't hold back when it comes to serious stuff, and I gotta say, this is gonna be a, a controversial take, but I totally 100% agree with this. Puss in Boots 2, The Last Wish, is what kids' movies should be. It should be fun, entertaining, beautiful, groundbreaking, and teaching kids lessons at the same time. This is just awesome. Each and every character really bounces off each other. Like, there's the main villain who's uh, something about a thumb in a plum. I have no idea. But uh, when he has Jimmy Cricket on short and he's like doing all a bunch of bad stuff, Jimmy's like, oh my god, you are awful. And then the dude's like, yeah. So what? Like, the dude is just charmingly evil. He knows he's evil and he just rolls with it. I really like the relationship our main heroes have with Kia Softball, Puss in Boots, the little doggo friend. I forgot his name, I'm sorry, but he is just so adorable. He's actually one of the best comic relief characters I have seen in my entire life. Because he does more than just get out comedy. And one of the most awesome scenes in the movie and one of the most groundbreaking scenes in animation history in my opinion Bruce is freaking the hell out because he just had another encounter with death who was a character that is just oh, oh so beautiful this guy is just charming but back to what I was saying, Puss is freaking out, he's having a panic attack, and then the dog's like, oh, hey, there you are. oh, and he just realizes that Puss had a panic attack, so, since he wants to be a therapy dog in the future, he decides to do what therapy dogs do best, and just gives him comfort. And then Puss talks about how scared he was about abandoning Softpaw during his wedding, and running away from death, and it's just... It's, it nearly made me cry, man, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a hard cat to make cry, it's just awesome. And the art style, do I have to really say anything? Everyone else says it. It's your generic DreamWorks art style with more color, some Spider-Verse influence, and it's just, it's just so amazing. And best part about it, at least for me, this was the movie that I used to watch after abandoning Velma. If you see my Velma review, then you know that you should just call me Scooby because I can't do that show anymore. But Poots and Boots? just exceeded my expectations. I thought this was going to be like a pretty good movie, nothing too groundbreaking, but no movie has made me this excited, no anime movie has made me this excited since the Lego movie or Spider-Verse. The only complaints I have is, uh, I feel like they cram in too much with the villains because there's also the three little bears as like a mafia organization, which is actually pretty funny, I love the modern take on that. And they do develop it where it's just like, there's like, too much villains is what I'm trying to say. We got the plum dude, we got death, and we got the little bears. Honestly, I think if you remove um, the plum guy, you wouldn't really lose much. But other than that, the movie's good. Honestly, I don't know what else to say. Like, my emotions are like super high right now. I just got done editing the Velma review, and when I started recording for this review, you it just spike just like that i haven't been this hyped since i saw sue or since i watched an episode of common writer which is why i'm gonna give this movie an s rate honestly i did not expect something like this to come from dreamworks a company who i think produces okay and pretty good products in general i was gonna say mid but they haven't even illumination exists you guys have gotta see it this movie is awesome it's perfect it's amazing also i can't believe they got away with some stuff like there's some curse bleeps here and there there's actual freaking blood in this film and some of the jokes that they got away with oh my swells But if I'm gonna be completely real, this is what kids' movies should be. Like, honestly, DreamWorks, make more movies like these. Make them funny but impactful. Make them mean something. Make them 
teach us lessons. This is awesome. I have not seen a DreamWorks film this amazing since The Prince of Persia. And I know Shrek 2 exists, but I, I'm not the biggest Shrek fan, I'm gonna be honest with you. Seriously though, it, it's still a masterpiece, but Puss in Boots 2, I think, I think it's finally dethroned it. It's just, it's just pretty good. This is, this is good. Honestly, I'm going to stop talking right here before I, uh, before I go off tangent. This turns into like an hour video of me just saying random things. Honestly, you guys gotta see Puss in Boots too, okay? Okay? I don't care how old you are. Just, just give it a shot, okay? It's awesome, okay? Okay. I gotta go now. Adieu, everybody!